Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jo and I help creators with freelancing passive income in tech. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can quickly create an ebook in Canva. Now I know that time is of the essence these days and I completely understand that, but we also have to be mindful that there is only so much time that you can save with templates. And we do have to do some form of customization to create something unique for our brands. So with that in mind, this tutorial will help you if you want to create something completely from scratch, or if you already have a template handy, I have a neat little trick for you to help you get content into that template way faster. Before we dive into the video, I just want to let you know that any links to resources that I have, I've put them in the comment section below of the video, so definitely check those out. And if you like today's content, make sure that you like and subscribe so I can keep creating more content for you guys. The best thing that you can actually do for yourself when you're creating an ebook is to do a little bit of prep. Now, I like to use Google Docs because it's online, it comes with my email system, and it's really easy to use. So I've opened up a Google Doc, and whatever the ebook is that I'm writing, I'm going to spend a little bit of time formatting. So I'm just going to grab some fake text for now just so we can speed up the process because I'm going to show you something really cool once we have finished this. So you don't need to go overboard with the formatting, but I would just, you know, put in your headings and if there are links, you can do that as well. You don't have to go like colors or anything like that. It's just basically like your content, like whatever you're doing and whatever, however you like to put it. Um, using it this way and doing it in the simple form format also just helps with editing and sharing and things like that because you can do that with Google Docs. So I'll just call that ebook, make sure I have a heading. Now it's not, um, it doesn't have to be like super detail orientated, it's just what you kind of want it to look like with a basic layout. So once you've done that, you're going to save this as a PDF. So we're going to download it as a PDF document. Next, we're going to go into Canva and we're going to open up a couple of different tabs in Canva. And this is just so that it's going to help us with this creation process. So in the first one, we are going to look for an ebook cover. Because sometimes with Canva, you can get really good single templates, but sometimes you don't get multiple templates. So this one looks good to me. Um, if you, depending on whether you have like a free account or a pro account, it will depend on what ones you're going to go for. I've got a pro account, so that means everything is free and accessible for me. If not, then you're going to have to go for like free templates. Like this one doesn't have that little crown, but I'm going to go for just this one here, just for the demo purposes. And I'm going to customize this because I like that front cover. Okay, great. So if you have any other uh, types of things that's going to be in your ebooks like checklist or like specialized pages this is where you would like search for those and say you like this template here you would click that and you click customize don't get confused by how many like tabs are going to be open just delete the ones or close the ones that you don't need and the ones that you don't need are where we've like selected the templates so we've got our front cover we've got any specialized pages maybe even like a contents page anything like that that will help you do things faster the last one i would probably go for is like um, multiple pages so anything that's got like layouts that you really like and this is like the bulk of your template or your ebook sorry so you want to look for something that's got multiple pages. So it doesn't even have to be an ebook. You could just write in multiple pages and see if you can find something that comes up. Let's just say that this is, let's just say, let's have a look. Maybe we could even look at magazines. Actually, let's go back to ebook. And because what you want to do is you want to hover, oh, we go. Here's one that's got multiple pages. You just want to find a template that's the size of an ebook that has multiple pages that you like the layout of. It doesn't actually have to be an ebook, it could be anything. You can search for heaps of different things magazine layouts, anything. So I'm going to click on that and go customize this template. So now we have like sort of the layout, we've got like our specialized pages, and we also have our front cover. So I'm going to stick with the front cover. 
and I'm just going to add the page and let's just say you know we want the specialized pages we're going to come over here and we're going to copy the layout into here and I'll just paste that there and just re because so this is how you can kind of combine designs and make it look really good so I'll just delete that because we want it to be that color and I would just pick the pages out of here like there's a contents page there that I could use and maybe some different layouts this is quite a good one I really like that layout and we can just paste it into there cool okay so you just keep going with that and you just paste different layouts that you really really like and you can see that we've got like a completely different canva template you can update all of your fonts as well as you're going through this so it, when you copy from different templates and create a new design you're going to get like a whole mismatch of different things so you just have to go through and update that so you can just update with whatever um, fonts you like let's just keep it to something really simple I don't actually like this big cleaning thing so we'll just keep it really simple and of course just like make it look nice like spend a little bit of time making things like this 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 lining up it's not very good so we want to like make sure that it lines up really nice and we'll go back to the monster wrap um, just maybe change the sizes you know you get the idea you just fiddle around with the different layouts sometimes with canva with the templates they're like grouped and things like this i actually don't like things grouped i like them to just be individual elements so then i can just really easily update things so you can just go through and change you can change all the colors as well so if you don't like black i think i would just stick to something really basic while you're transferring things over i'm just going to delete this and then maybe make that bold and take this down. Okay, so you can see how like it's really easy to make a template kind of a little bit different. We could probably change this color as well. Let's just change it to cool. So we get some more of the stars. Now this is looking really cool. So now we've kind of got like a layout and a little bit of a style going. This is the coolest part that we're going to do. Okay, so you're going to come back to Canva and you're going to come to create a design and this is how you're going to easily import all your content into canva from that pdf that we had so you go to create a design and you go import and then the ebook you're gonna that we got from google docs that we saved as a pdf you can put it in there and you can open it and you can see that that is actually uploading into canva now once i click on this watch how amazing this is so that formatting that you did inside of Google Docs and, you know, if you want to do all the commenting, you know, how versatile it is, Canva has now turned that into fully editable text, which is crazy. Like, I can't believe that. So you can go through and you can just change everything, you know, exactly how you want. So all you do is you do the same thing as we did when we were, like, merging those templates. So you can copy all your text, you copy it, and you go to your um, new ebook layout that you liked, and I would probably just add the page, and I would copy that there. Just sort of shrink it down just for this purposes. And you can literally now just copy and paste into the different formats that you that you have made. So I like to just do edit and paste match style, so it keeps exactly the same and you just can copy it and it's so good or if you don't want to copy and paste it into there and you've already got the style and you know what it looks like you can just change you know some of the fonts through like that and go through manually I like to just do everything manually like this um, just so I get all of the details and it looks really really good but that is basically how you can easily create your ebooks you've got a really cool design that you've you know brought together from different templates so it's completely unique you've updated all your fonts and your colors and things like that and you've also imported all of your content and i know that this is just a small one page that we did but when you have like 60 pages of text it is so helpful just to be able to like import it in like that then once you're ready all you need to do is download your ebook so you go to the top right hand side where it says share and you download and you want to select a pdf and then you just download it and you have created 
your ebook in Canva. The other thing that I wanted to show you with Canva is that it's a really quick way to like change all of the colors and everything like that is by if you click on say a color there you can come over to this white color what's well, kind of like the color palette I guess if you click on that you can come down and you should be able to see like a different color let's just pick like a really crazy color like purple and then just down the bottom you'll see change you'll see change all so you can change all of the colors that were that color palette which was white to now this crazy purple so if I click change all you'll see that throughout that whole document wherever that color was linked and wherever that color was that it is now changed to that crazy purple sometimes the colors might not be exactly the same even though they look the same on screen and that just means like for example this one here was a little bit darker than that white and that just means it's a different color so you can just go through and you can just manually change like things one by one as well but if the template is designed or you've got it set up so that it's like all one color like that then you can change it just by doing that one quick change hey guys so if you enjoyed my content today please like the video make sure you subscribe even leave a comment below to let me know that you are loving this content so i can create more for you